Courtly love is a concept developed in Slavoj Žižek's 1994 essay Courtly love or woman as a thing. In this essay, Žižek uses the highly conventionalized medieval tradition of love expression between a lady and a knight to demonstrate his Lacanian view of reality. You may know Lacan as the most bombastic French psychoanalyst of the 20th century, who said a bunch of weird and controversial things such as there is no such thing as a woman or a woman is only a symptom of man and OMG I like Freud. Zizek begins this essay by showing that the stereotypical figure of the sublime, attractive, goddess-like lady such as Dante's Beatrice is a mere illusion, a kind of a hocus-pocus. Zizek claims that courtly love is actually based on the spiritualization of an inhuman partner a detached monster. In his words, the knight's relationship to the lady is thus the relationship of the subject bondsman, the vassal, to his feudal master sovereign, who subjects him to senseless, outrageous, impossible, arbitrary, capricious ordeals. In other words, the truth is that the desired lady is a mere human being, whose actions and attributes are not always perfectly organized, impeccably beautiful or harmonious. In fact, the desired lady belongs to the Lacanian register of the real. Roll the animation. The real in Lacanian psychoanalytic theory is the reality that escapes cultural signification. That is to say, it is the world that is not contingent on human sense perception. For example, when we undergo an event that is extremely shocking or significant, we often say, it's hard to put this experience into words. Such an event in Lacan's theory belongs to the register of the real. In the case of courtly love, something very similar happens. Instead of appreciating the lady as a real, uh, imperfect, capricious perhaps, human being, the man decides to idealize, glorify the lady, to turn her into a totem, a symbol of flawless harmony and beauty. This way the knight attains a feeling of control over his desire. After all, if he can name his desire, Surely, he can control it. In actuality, the spiritualized figure of the desired lady hides a simple Lacanian truth, namely, that the desired object is always unattainable. It is simply a placeholder, which allows us to make sense of our incongruous feelings. Zizek writes, the idealization of the lady, her elevation to a spiritual, ethereal ideal, is to be conceived as a narcissistic projection whose function is to render her traumatic dimension invisible. Deprived of every real substance, the lady functions as a mirror onto which the subject projects his narcissistic ideal. This means that the Western convention of love expression, writing of poetry, singing under the balcony, Gift-giving and idolizing is based on a pure dismissal of the desired person's reality, their authenticity. It's a mere narcissistic projection of the ideal, the ideal desired object. So when somebody says, my love is like a red, red rose, or your eyes are as deep as the ocean, in Zizek's opinion, they simply don't know what they're talking about. In addition, Zizek emphasizes that courtly love is tied to the concept of masochism. In fact, the highly dignified expression of courtly love has nothing to do with overflowing passion. Rather, it is simply a matter of etiquette, a masochistic cultural ritual, which places the man in the position of servitude. The man, in other words, has to overcome numerous obstacles to attain his desired object. However, obviously, this position of servitude is not real, it is fictional, in that the man is still the main organizer of his own servitude. He still pulls the strings, he controls the description and idealization of his dominatrix. Zizek writes, Courtly love appears as simply the most radical strategy for elevating the value of the object by putting up conventional obstacles to its attainability. In other words, by creating numerous obstacles on our way to the emotional satisfaction, we postpone the inevitable realization that the desired object is unattainable. It is a mere fiction, a projection of one's narcissistic ideal. Zizek, in this essay, wants us to rethink the Western heteronormative idea of love and its tendency to force two people into a relationship that is highly fictitious, based on empty gestures and unequal participation.